Um, just want to welcome everybody here, and I'm going to go ahead and start sharing my screen. All right, so the program we are here to talk about tonight is called Motivate. If you saw the email that I sent out today, I made the distinction between being motivated and having momentum and how motivation is something that takes action. I had a um, had an employee one time and I went to my my uh, mastermind coach and I said, this employee says he's just not feeling motivated. And then my very wise coach looks sort of sits back and looks at me and he goes, well, I always felt like you had to have action before you got motivation. And I'd never thought about it that way. And ever since he said those words, the more I read and look at that subject, I see, wow, that's exactly what he says. Mo the, pro the whole idea of the Motivate program is to get you going in the direction that you want to get to in order to reach your goals. And we have, and the other thing that you'll be seeing and hearing a lot about in the Motivate program is the whole idea of habits and habit stacking. Um, James Clear wrote Atomic Habits and the concepts in that book just absolutely rocked my world. The whole idea of just creating like substituting habits you can't really you can't really so much stop a habit as you have to replace the habit and so what we're going to do with the motivate program is figure out which habits don't serve you and figure out the kinds of habits that we can replace that with and then start to stack those healthy habits over eight weeks starting with some easy things and then moving on to things that are take a little bit more effort so that's part of your team. And on this call, you'll see the other part of your team, Faith and Julie. Um, we are here to help you reach those goals. I've been in the fitness industry for now, getting close to um, another couple of birthdays and it'll be half my life. And, um, and Patrick is the greatest thing that's happened to Train Smarter since we opened. Um, having his very uh, methodical, upbeat approach to everything sort of balances out my frantic, the sky is falling <laughs> approach to life. So between the two of us, we bring a nice balance to what we're going to be bringing in this program. So the reasons that people start to take a, take a moment and look around and decide that they're not where they want to be, could be that they've tried a lot of other plans and nothing has really ever like had that lasting effect. Like sort of like if I look back and think of, in all these years of all the people that I have known who have decided to lose weight, the number of them who did it and kept it off is in the tens of percentage. And all the while, most of us know what we need to do. It's just really hard to get it to happen because it's we're easily distracted. There's a lot about what goes on in the world that tends to draw us away from all those healthy habits. And sometimes you just don't feel like you've got the energy to make those healthier habits your consistent habits. Like today I talked to a, um, a woman who is an optometrist and she was talking about she had put over, put on over, I can't remember, she said it was 20 or 40 pounds mm -hmm. since being di diagnosed with a digestive disorder. And it wasn't until a little bit later on that she mentioned that she also has three kids and a full-time job in the medical field. I mean, it is no wonder she's looking for help. I get it. And so that's why she's not going to try to figure it out on her own anymore. She is looking to us for guidance. And sometimes you just don't know where to start. Do you start with nutrition? Do you start with the workouts? If you're doing the workouts, what kind of workouts do you need to be doing? And so all the while, you know, you got to change. So especially over the years that I have been in this industry, I have watched the approaches of that change change. We started out with a lot of exercise programs and I came up in the era of Denise Austin when she was doing the step classes and announcing at the beginning of the class that we were going to whittle those thighs, except that didn't really happen. That's not really how that works. And then we've had the transformation challenges and the transformation challenges work fine. 
as long as you're in the challenge. But then what happens once the challenge is over? Often those transformation challenges are very structured and very rigid and nobody can sustain that. Nobody would want to sustain that. Then there are meal plans and recipes, which a lot of people still ask for. In fact, our last, our, our first Eat Smarter program where we were trying to teach habit change and planning, I had one guy who just insisted that he had to have me tell him what to eat specifically. The problem was when I said, have you ever done that before? He said, oh yeah. And now he's 50 or 60 pounds overweight and it's always been that way. So the meal plans and recipes didn't work long-term. And so now we're trying coaching and coaching is working as long as we've got the right tools in our hands. Seminars and workshops work really well, sort of like the challenges, except then what? And then that's what we're here to sort of like talk about is what happens next. And now we've tried to be make our clients accountable because that's what they ask for. I need accountability. So what we found is that all of these things might work short term, but they just there's something missing there. So it turns out we're dealing with two kinds of people. Some of them, a lot of the people that we know are struggling with getting those healthy habits really consistently. And then there are others who look at the people who struggle and say, I don't understand what the big deal is. Kind of like one of my clients when we were talking about sugar cravings and somebody was saying about, I said something like, I just can't have peanut M&Ms in the house. And she, she was like, I don't understand. Why can't you just have one? And I thought, <laughs> yeah, you don't get it. So whether somebody succeeds or struggles or to uh, take care of that struggle for long term, why do we bring all, all of those things together for something that really works once and for all? Because most of us who have gone on diets and tried to lose weight and started exercise programs and then stopped those exercise programs that the lady talked to today as a Peloton, where's the, what do we got to do? Well, we used to say eat less, exercise more. And we used to have these formulas where we would say, all right, so with 3,500 calories is a pound of fat. If you could every day, if you could burn off another 500 calories, and if you could eat less 500 calories, by the end of the week, you'd lose a pound. Not how it works. Achieving your optimal health goals takes more than just diet or exercise program. And so then what are the missing links? to lasting success? Why is it that we can be successful short-term? What happens between short-term and long-term? If you haven't seen this video, it's kind of fun. Good morning, everybody. Thank you for being here. Um, where is motivation? Motivation is never here. Even I get to the meetings in the morning and I'm forgetfulness, like, Motivation is never here. Uh, let's see, everybody else here. Good, good, good. Where's procrastination? Son of a... I'm here, here. I'm here. I, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay, let's see. So Tip wakes up in about 20 minutes. She's got a pretty exciting day ahead. She's got Sarah's birthday cupcakes at school, the birthday party tonight, and she has to prepare the fundraiser forms for the PTO meeting tomorrow. So how can we f*** this up? Already on it. So last night she wanted to lay out the kids' clothes, so she was like ready in the morning or whatever. And uh, I convinced her to watch The Walking Dead instead. Ooh, very good. Okay, people still watch that. I'll tell you what. After Glenn died, I just what? Glenn died? Yes, anxiety. Glenn died. You weren't there that night. Depression was there and did a great job. My day out. She didn't get out of bed for two days after Glenn died. She really wanted it to be that redheaded guy. I know. Uh, anyway, good. So she'll be a psycho in the morning. That's perfect. I can um, I can remind her of all of the crap that she has to do. Same as always. You got to do this. You got to do that. But okay. say it in like a really panicked voice so that she gets really overwhelmed. Good anxiety. Good. I'll come in and drain her desire to do it. Yes. Depression. 
Good idea. This is good. I like how we're working as a team, guys, okay? She's also supposed to be starting a diet today. So addiction, I need you to show up. Make sure she walks by those almond scones when she goes to pick up the cupcakes for the school, okay? She can never say no. You got it, boss. When she's done, um, I can remind her what a failure she is in case she forgot and just let her know she'll always be wearing maternity pants even when she's not pregnant because she can't control her eating. And then you come in and make her panic. Um, I can continue just uh, list, listing things off. You know what I mean? In like a really panicky. Yes, good. I need anxiety and social awkwardness. Go to the party with her. I should probably go to the party too, right? Empathy. Yes, you should definitely go to. Yes, because then she'll be completely drained by the time she's done. So many people just absorbing all their energies. That is good. Okay. Once she gets home and she gets the kids to bed. I got it from there. Insomnia. I can always count on you. Okay, great. Let's get out there and torment her and make her look like a complete psycho. That way everybody around her thinks she's absolutely crazy. Go, places, places, anxiety. This is a lot. Is this not a lot, you guys? Go, 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 go. So that's every time anxiety starts talking about, and I can just listen to things, this and this and this and this. Every time I watch this and see that, I think that's my life. Oh my God, there's this and this and this and this and this and this. And this. We are so stressed, I think, sort of culturally, that worrying about our health and our fitness and our nutrition is just one more of those this and this and this is that we layer on there. Um <laughs> Ashley, it seems like you are always seem so like you've got everything so together. Does any of that speak to you? Do you get like, does that sound anything that's familiar to you? Oh, hundred <laughs> percent. I do not, I do not have it all together. <laughs> last, last night was a case of anxiety. Like I've never seen before. Oh, really? Well, that was just with everything that happened in Memphis with Addison being up there and juggling everything else with homecoming and Connor coming in from Alaska. So no, I'm, I, I get it. I have my moment. <laughs> Julie, how about you? I know, I know we can't see you, but you have anything you want to contribute to this conversation about just all the things that we all have to deal with here? Oh yeah. I, I was like, how did she get in my brain? <laughs> all of that's very familiar. Procrastination. Yeah. Big one too. Oh yeah. I was, I'm trying to think what I was working on just this week. And I actually said out loud, all right, that's enough procrastinating. Get it done. Mm -hmm. um, so, okay. So I just thought, I think that that's, I don't know. I just, that just really spoke to me about how we all are dealing so, so often. It's so easy to think that's just us that are dealing with these kinds of things. But no, I think it's, it's like the human condition. So in the past, we have tried changing our diet, buying into these um, diet plans with the pre-prepared foods and signing on to challenges and doing all of those kinds of things that address that exercise more and eat less. But the problem is those kinds of things never address why we kind of need to do those things in the first place. So we've done... Oh gosh, you know, think about how hot CrossFit was when that came in. That was super extreme. Everybody jumped on board with that. How many of the people that you knew back then who were doing CrossFit are still doing it? Or how many people are still doing all of those Peloton workouts? Or Octavia, every time I turned on, every time I went on Facebook, I was seeing all these people I knew from the JCC days, everybody on Octavia um, doing the, you know, getting people into their downlines and all that kind of stuff. Everybody thinks there's going to be some magic weight loss product out there. And I think we probably can agree that there's nothing magic out there. And the only real way to take care of all of this kind of stuff is to take care of our mindset and habits, which constitute the foundation of that house we've been trying to build our health on. So when we've been doing those kinds of the old school programs, the kinds of things that we have done for 35 years, 
we've been dealing with actions in order to get outcomes. So it be eat a certain way, exercise a certain way, all of those things in order to get to this outcome. The piece that was missing is the thoughts that have led to the actions that we have performed that got us the outcomes that we had before. The thoughts drive your actions and those actions create your outcomes. So you gotta change your thoughts to change your actions if you want to get that different outcome from what you've had before. And I deal with this so much, people with the two mindsets. The dieter mindset is always thinking about a food being good or bad, or I can have some of that, I can't have that, I've had too much of that, oh my gosh, I feel so guilty because I overate that, I haven't had enough of this, and then there's the motivate mindset, which has a goal of getting you out of that old mindset in which there is very good and bad and black and white. And we've got, we just consider everything within these habit squares. The dieter mindset says I have to cut calories and the motivate, motivate or momentum mindset is you need to add foods in order to feel better. Instead of cutting way back and being tired and hungry, it's like, okay, what do I need to eat? I need to look at eating more protein. I need to look at eating all the vegetables and fruits and grains. There's no bad carbs idea. You know, the, that's the one I hear the most. I know I got to eat. I got to cut carbs. I got to cut carbs. Um, or I need to lose weight. Oops. <clears throat> I need to lose weight. I need portion control. I have to stop eating carbs. And the cheat day is one of the worst ideas ever. I have seen more disordered eating coming off of cheat days because people starve. And then they're like, oh, woohoo, it's Sunday. I'm going to have a large pizza. And literally, I know one guy in particular who will do that. Eat a whole pizza on a Saturday. And that's just binging and purging. That, that's, that's disordered eating. Um, so rather than that, we want to say, rather than losing weight, we want to focus on increasing strength, getting stronger, getting straight and get straighter, getting more functional, eating what it takes for your body to be health healthful and healthy and focusing on nutritious food. So focusing on the I can haves and I can wants rather than I can't haves and enjoying food that you enjoy because there's always a way to have what you really like. You just have to maybe find a new way of having it. So building that stronger foundation of mindset and habits and figuring out all those tools comes from the, this Motivate program. Mission of Motivate is to begin building a stronger foundation of the right mindset and healthy habits that it will take to get you toward your goals of being more healthy, more fit, and um, able to do whatever it is you want to accomplish. So coming up, we're, let's look at what this program involves. So before there's always been, we know there's a missing link because so many people don't ever stick with what they set out to accomplish. So one missing link is mindset. People talk to you a lot about what to do, but nobody ever really sort of deals with a different way of thinking and programming your mind so that you can think in more positive, moving forward kinds of directions. And second missing link is just practicing these everyday healthy habits that we, that we do in this program. Building mindful nutrition habits is a strong area of focus, but it's not a prescriptive nutrition or diet program. So we will not be handing out, this is week one, this is your breakfast, your lunch, your dinner. If we are not helping anybody, if all we ever do is tell you what to eat, we try to help you figure out how to eat and you fit in the what to eat within that framework. And 
as uh, with our Eat Smarter program. Somebody was saying the other day um, that it's a nutrition program and weight loss is often a side effect because the goal is not necessarily to cut calories. That tends to happen when you start to do the things that we talk about, like drink a certain amount of water and planning your uh, plate around your protein and your fresh vegetables or in, um, fruits or what we call in here fresh, but they don't have to be fresh. They can be canned or frozen for that matter. It's for someone who's tired of struggling with nutrition and or exercise and ready to commit to lasting, sustainable, healthy habits. So it is for people who are already exercising and want to take this to the next level. It's for people who aren't exercising at all and are looking to get started in a healthy, moderate kind of way. So this is not a challenge, in other words. The Motivate Experience. We are, what we set out to do was to put together the best that we have to offer in an eight-week program to make the most impact on somebody's life that we can make. So in this first week, this every week has a different theme. So hydration, movement mindful eating so it's and it's more there's a tracker in the mindful eating part and the tracker you're not the goal is not to like write down what you ate for a week and then critique it but the goal is for you to write down what you ate for a week and be mindful of it and be aware of what it was um especially <laughs> starting to read all these articles about girl scout cookies coming out somebody said the other day yeah, I, I'll stop with two cookies if I know that I'm going to have to look down and see that I had three. Um, mindful stress management. Big one for a lot of people. In fact, one of Julie's clients said yesterday the key to her weight loss, and she's dropped, what was it, Julie, 10 pounds or eight pounds was, um, oops, um, there we go, was um, the protein. I keep hitting this and moving it un unintentionally. So the, on, the, um, on my coach, the, the app we're already using, it will be in there. It's in there. It's a completely different program. So every day you'll have a little short lesson. As you can see, these little examples here, they're very short little things just to read. There, there are some days that you'll have a short video. The thing is, is that it's very helpful when you're trying to get accountability to just have something every day, every time you, every day when your day starts, you've got that little, that little ping that says, oh yeah, today's different than this day was two weeks ago or five weeks ago or two months ago. Now I'm doing, I'm, I'm operating in a whole different kind of lane. And that's where your, all of your resources, you can communicate with us on there. Of course, you can do that from a host of other um, directions, but you track your habits, so you'll be signing off and you're creating streaks that, yeah, once again today, you had this amount of water, or once again today, you got this amount of activity in, or had this amount of protein, or whatever the day's mission is. And your toolkit is really cool. It is this, I think it's a 90-something page book. Um, I just read through it again the other day. But that's where you do your writing. We know that if you write something down, if you have a thought, but then write it down, it makes a really strong impression on your brain. It's like it's like grooving it in more deeply. And so not only do you have that experience in a day to day basis, but once you've gone through and done the eight weeks and you have your book put together in the future, you'll always be able to go back and look at it and say, oh, back then I was thinking or doing this and this is what I did or this is how I've changed. It's just, it's a really kind of powerful thing to have ongoing. So you've got every week, there will be things that you are going to be writing and working on. They don't take a lot of time, but the, every week there's a little something because the whole idea here is, again, that accountability, drawing yourself back into what you're doing. And then at the very end of the book, um, there are maybe... I don't know, eight or 10 pages of recipes, I think. The books, uh, we call these the toolkits, should be in, I'm hoping, I think Monday. And so we'll have those out on the table at work. Um, mindful eating, of course. 
that's something that we drill a lot with people who are trying to change their eating habits is things like new habits, like put your fork down in between bites or try to be the last person at the table who finishes eating or, you know, eat in the kitchen or don't eat standing up or just all those little new habits that really add up and make a huge difference. I don't ever eat standing up anymore. It's just so funny. Or, or this habit of putting, of like taking your next bite before you really completely chewed the one before, because I was always in such a hurry. All those kinds of things are new habits that not that hard to, to create. On the fitness side, what we're going to do is for the eight weeks, our current clients who are working with, well, I'll say the new clients coming in would do the first month with twice a week private coaching because there'll be a lot that they have to learn. And then we're going to move them straight in the second week into three times a week or up to three times a week in personal training. So be working with a coach for um, of two to four, a group of two to four people. If you're in already doing personal training, then you will just go ahead and do up to three times a week um, for the eight weeks. So there's anywhere from 20 to 24 workouts in there. And then of course, all the access on the app in terms of any other additional work or homework. So you've got your, your weekly coaching sessions, your My Coach community, and continuing access to coaching support whenever you want it. So every week, do it. we'll choose what day, so what day and time suits everybody who is in the group. Um, it might be lunchtime one day, it might be evening one day, whatever it is. And then we'll all come together like this and talk about how the week's going, what we're going to be doing in the next week, any kind of questions, any stumbling blocks, or as, De uh, as Doug likes to say, any rocks in your shoe, um, any of those kinds of things. And so you've got the individual support, and then you also have the group coaching also. And that was one thing that like with, um, with Eat Smarter, a lot of times somebody would say, I'm trying to figure out this and somebody say, well, oh, have you tried this? So the group thing makes a, it also makes a really big difference. So <laughs> it starts to sound like it takes a lot of time. It really doesn't. Every week, you'll have that coaching session. Every day, you'll have that little something in the app. And you'll be tracking your habits or do that little bit of work in your success toolkit or in, on the app. And then if it's a workout day, like probably what we're going to try to do is just try to get people not only moving more in um, in workouts, but also just like moving a lot more in the off time also. And then anytime you need anything, just all you got to do is reach out because we are always easy to find. So the program starts September 19th, which is a Monday. We'll be putting people together getting people together, getting all the welcome stuff out, getting the books delivered to everybody, getting everything organized, probably um, the 17th and 18th. And so now's when everybody starts to ask about how much this is going to cost. So this is the pilot program. So we are discounting this program to a price that we won't offer it again. The, the going rate for eight weeks of coaching at the level that I was talking about comes to the current price right now is $12.20 for eight weeks. Um, eight weeks of the group coaching support, that's your weekly meeting, eight weeks of education and accountability, your success toolkit, that's 20, that comes to $26.70. But we are also adding Success sessions before and after. So in those success sessions, we're going to talk about what your goals are, what you think you're going to need more help with. We're going to try to set you up for success. And then at the end, we're going to come back together and talk about what the experience was like, what you need going forward, take a look at what kinds of things that we need to do to help you keep it going. We're adding two in-body uh, body composition tests, which we do charge $45 for anybody who's not a coaching client. We're going to do gait analysis and alignment assessments of everybody just to check and see whether there are anything, there's anything going on that we need to address, whether it's overstriding and heel striking, internal hip rotation, tight hip flexors, posture, all those kinds of things, because not only in order to deliver the best experience to a client do we need to do that, but 
coaches need to know those issues if those are going to be priorities in the workouts for the next eight weeks. We're offering two 60-minute massage sessions with Patrick, probably, I would say probably once a month there. A one-month supply or a bag of Ascent Protein for those that will be really handy for people who have trouble getting enough of it in. What we're going to do is we're going to teach the people in this program all the different pieces in the recovery room. So week to week at the end of a workout, we'll take you in and we will show you how to set up the back massager, how to set up the, the head massager, how to use the Theragun, how to use the red light, how to use um, the e-stem, all, all of the things that we have in the recovery room. We're going to teach everybody in the group how to use, and we're going to be using it through the eight weeks so that when the eight weeks are over, you know how to go in and use those things on your own. And then we're going to have, uh, we're adding in unlimited yoga classes. And we are, um, haven't talked to Julie on that, but I believe we're going to add another yoga class to our schedule already. So those all come to 890. So we've got the 2670 to 890. I always hate when people do these things because I always think you just have these inflated prices up there and then you're going to do something that's kind of normal. But I was very careful. These are not inflated prices. These are the real prices. So the total for all of that is $3,560. In the future, we're going to probably offer this program for between two and 2,000 and 2,500. But for this pilot program, um, for this group of eight or eight-ish, whatever it turns out to be, it's only going to be $1,497 or $749 a month. And you will have all of the resources available to you you could possibly need that I know of, um, but we will break our backs to make this a, an amazing kind of experience that you'll look back and just remember that this was this awesome thing you did for eight weeks. And these changes, these habits are the kinds of things that we want you to have ongoing. So once we've got them established, once we've got the knowledge laid down, then you will have the tools you need and always us for the support to keep all of that going. And that is the Motivate program.